Hi, this is Scott Brown with a MotorAge Tech Tip sponsored by Autel. In this video, we'll be exploring the MS909CV and perform an advanced driver assistance system calibration on this late model Sprinter van. Now, as you likely know, many heavy duty vehicles today are equipped with ADAS features such as Lean Keep Assist, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and more. Having the ability to service these systems will greatly expand your offerings. The MS909CV with the Maxi Flash VCI supports the following protocols. J1708, J1939, J1587, J1850, CDL, PLC, VPW, and more covering a wide range of communication standards populating many vehicle manufacturers such as Bluebird, Caterpillar, Cummins, Detroit, Dodge, GM, Hino, IC Bus, International, Isuzu, Mac, Mercedes Sprinter, Nissan, Packard, Thomas Bus, Volvo, plus many more. Now within the tool package and convenient storage case, you get all of this. The MS909CV tablet, the Maxi Flash VCI, multiple power adapters and USB cables, a Deutsch Dash 6 and Dash 9 connectors, a Uni 4 Universal OBD connector, a MaxiBest 200 for battery testing, and a 400 amp current clamp, 4 millimeter test leads, probes and alligator clips, and a DM100 digital high impedance multimeter, which allows one to perform electrical circuit testing right on the tablet. Additionally, the kit comes with a pack of 20 front test probes as well. So as you can see, this kit is set up to let you hit the ground running, ready to attack diagnostic challenges on medium and heavy duty vehicles. And by the way, it comes with a one year software update subscription and a one year limited warranty. So as mentioned at the top, we're gonna walk through a static calibration process for the forward facing camera on this 2018 Mercedes Sprinter van and we'll be using the Autel original red frame to complete this process. Now as a best practice, I always recommend performing a full vehicle scan prior to performing any ADAS calibration. For one, we need to know why we're here, and in most cases, the forward-facing camera requires calibration whenever the following occurs. We either replace or remove or reinstalled the camera, as in cases of where you're cleaning the natural off-gassing that occurs to the inside of the windshield ahead of the camera. Now here's a tip on inspecting the forward facing camera. Now from the outside of the vehicle, use a flashlight and shine it in at the opening opposite of your viewpoint. This will allow you to see if any of that off gassing film exists. And if it does, it's time to sell a cleaning and calibration service. Additionally, check to see that the vehicle has been fitted with quality glass and that it has been properly installed. One clue is to look at the installed depth as compared with the frame and its uniformity. If you have one corner higher than the other, then this is something you'll want to discuss with your glass installer. Adding any yaw to the camera is a no-go in my book. Next, we'll go into the tool and walk through the calibration process. Okay, now that we've got our tool connected to the vehicle, let's go in and do a calibration service. So we'll go, um, we have it automatically detect the vehicle and we're going to enter in a repair order number. This way you're going to get a pre and post scan out of it. All right. And we'll have to do some identification on this vehicle. This is a Sprinter 3 um, as of 2013. So we're going to go F1. And it is a diesel. And we're going to click OK. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and just do a pre-scan on the vehicle. And we'll hit fault scan. We'll enter the customer's name. Okay, and we'll click OK. This will proceed to do a full scan on the vehicle. And we want to attach any photos. At this point, you can take a couple photos uh, with, the, uh, with the scan tool, but uh, we'll say no, okay. We'll click report. We're gonna save 
it here, save it as a PDF. And what I like to do here is um, I hit print, print via Wi-Fi, and then here we're going to save it as a PDF here. Save as PDF. The number is 2018 Sprinter FFC. Go. Would save. All right. So now we go back. Hit escape. And then we're going to go back. And now we're going to do an ADAS calibration. Okay. It says it's not available in a pre scan report. So what you have to do here is you have to exit. Yes. Then we're going to go to history. We're going to pull up the last test here. We're going to go to diagnostics. Back to automatic. Click OK. We're going to hit ADAS calibration. And it's going to walk us through the, uh, the setup. The item we're going to pick here is a multifunction camera. So we're going to hit the calibration button there. Uh, we repl replaced the camera. We're going to click OK. It's asking us what we're going to use for this setup here. Uh, we are going to use the B. That's the five-line five uh, laser. And then the target that we already have matched up is the CSC 0601-19. So that's on B. And we've got our plumb line, laser, tape measure. I've got everything all set up. So we'll walk through and set this up. And it has uh, a video, you can watch that. Uh, we have the setup routine, and it's asking us to, to set establish a center line uh, on the vehicle. And we're gonna go ahead and go do that, okay? And then this is the next line here. Once we get our center point at the back of the vehicle, then we're gonna set up our five line laser and shoot it to the front of the vehicle. So let me go back here. Our first step is to mark out the uh, spot in the front of the vehicle so that we can place our target, okay? And I've got our target pieces here. Okay, these are the items that we're gonna use. We're gonna use this five line laser. We're gonna use this reflector and I've got the uh, plumb bob and string assembly. So we'll go out and uh, we'll measure this out. So I've got the uh, plumb bob hanging here. We're slicing through the center of the front logo and we're gonna mark a spot here on the floor. We put down some painter's tape. We're just gonna put a dot right there, okay? And basically what's gonna happen, we're gonna turn on this, this laser, okay? You can see the laser coming out. We're gonna set this right on that spot here and Try to get this set up so the camera can see it. And do you see it lighting up that, that marker right there? Okay, so that's the goal. We're gonna do the same at the back of the car. Set up our laser on the bottom here. There's a red, there's a red laser popping out of the bottom of this tool here. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can see it right there. Okay, you see the little dot? We're going to put that at the back with this sitting on the front, and we'll be able to fine-tune this and dial it right in until we're hitting that mark. You see that illuminates the front of that. This is a very cool tool here. All right, so we'll go to the next stop here. I'm going to pull this plumb bob off. I'm going to set this right on that dot there, okay? And we're going to the back of the car to do the same. Okay, we've got both plumb lines set up. We're going to go to the next page. We've gotten our 1500-08 out in front. We've got B at the back of the car, the five-way laser. We're shooting it up through the vehicle. Also, you see that CSC 15006. That is the mirror, and that mirror actually works pretty slick. All right, so we go to our next page. Then we're going to move the laser reflector board out towards the driving direction, a distance of one meter. Okay, 
So we're gonna get our tape measure. We're gonna measure out one meter from our dot here. Which is gonna be a hundred centimeters, okay? Mark that, okay? And we found our our center line that's still shooting up from the back of the vehicle. And we've got that marked out. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a line and a mark, okay? All right, we'll go to our next set of instructions and then remove the laser board and we're gonna go next. Check to see if the height of the chassis is sufficient for the five line laser to be placed on point A, okay? So we do have a high enough spot, okay? And we're gonna set that right over the dot, okay? And we're gonna pick up our mark again. Okay, and it says place the five line laser, adjust the fine knob, so that it passes through point Z and mark points C and D on the laser line on the left and right sides of the vehicle respectively. Okay, so this laser has the ability to set up a square. There we go. Now we're shooting out all, all four ways of the laser. And as long as we're on that dot, we're hitting up our mark out here, we're good to go. And then we proceed to measure this out. Okay. I'm gonna put a piece of tape. Got that mark there. There's my dot. Okay. We'll get a shot of that here. So C and D. 110 centimeters, okay? And we're gonna go to the next page. And then attach the L-shaped positioning bracket. So we have that over here. And this is what that bracket looks like here. This L-shaped bracket. We're gonna go next. It says place the five line laser on the left side of the vehicle. Adjust the fine adjustment knob on the base of the five line. So it passes through points A and D, okay? A and D, and then we're gonna mark a spot on the ground at the half, right at the split of those front wheels there, okay? So we pick up our, I'm gonna use our fine tuning adjustment to pick up my two laser marks. Then we're gonna mark Mark that, and then we're gonna measure from that wheel to draw line A, which is gonna be 1,760 millimeters, okay? We're gonna remove the bracket. We've got our mark down there on the floor. Should be able to see that there. So there's our mark that we placed right there, and you should be able to see my laser marker and we're gonna go and measure out 176 mark point G from that laser line, okay? Put that right over my dot. All right, so there's our mark, our setup, okay? And we've got that marked and it says remove the positioning bracket, which we've done, next. And then place the five line laser directly before the front center of the vehicle to ensure it passes through points A and Z, okay? It's passing through both points here. Okay, let me come back a little bit. There we go. And we are dead center, so. My five line, line laser is cutting directly into this and it's also hitting center line of the vehicle. You see our mark there right on the front grill there. All right, 
So we are lined up. And then it says to go ahead and turn off or remove the laser. All right, so we're done. So now it's asking us to put our uh, frame to zero. So I've already, let's see, everything's already at zero. Okay, next. And then we're gonna get the other laser instrument out of the kit. Mount it in here. And we do have a, we do have an index point that we're gonna line up with the front here. Okay. We're gonna tighten these up. And then this is a magnetic base here. And it does have a tether. Go ahead and connect. And then we turn on our laser, okay? And then we can see our marks on the floor here. This is my dot right there. It says rotate the fine tuning bolt one. Okay. And I'll move the fine tuning bolt here. All right. We're going to go next. And now the frame has been properly placed. And then at this point, you'll want to add some friction so that this is not going to rotate anywhere. And so since we've set up the frame properly, we can go OK at this point. Ensure the frame has been properly placed, which it has been. Okay. Okay, now we've got this all set up. Ensure the frame has been placed. We're gonna click OK. It says, do not attach the target board holder. So we've got the, the bar in there. We put our target board on there. It's already in place. Okay. And then we're gonna make sure that we're all centered here. So my bubbles are centered up here. Looks like I gotta raise the front of this up just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and do that. until they're centered. That looks pretty good. We're gonna click OK. And then it says, loosen the pull top on top of the ruler here. Okay, that's this, this measurement. It says, um, adjust the crossbar to 1600 millimeters. Okay, and so I have to go down just a little bit here. So 1600 millimeters. Okay. And it says if using the target booster, set it to 1250 on the B side. Okay. And then we'll put the ruler back in, which I just did. It's running the calibration. Fault memory is being erased and system is now calibrated. And what I recommend here is that we go ahead and do a screenshot. So just long press on the camera icon there, and then we're gonna hit escape, okay? And it, it did scan that. We can go ahead and just do a fault scan to make sure none of the other modules have any faults in them. And I don't think these other modules actually exist on the vehicle. So it's gonna have no response. Okay, so now we're gonna go back. All right, so at this point, we would take the vehicle out for a drive, make sure that everything is working like it should be. And when we come back, we would go ahead and do a full scan on the vehicle. Fault scan. All right, do I wanna attach any photos? I'm gonna say yes, okay. Our pre-scan shows all the faults that were in the vehicle. We had an instrument cluster fault. And we also had a audio head before we were before we did any work. Uh, we did clear those codes. Uh, we did do the calibration here. It shows that the calibration time. And then there's our images. There's the system calibration screenshot confirmation that we did. And then there is our uh, setup. Well, I hope you found this useful and informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.